morning students today i am going to continue the chapter money and credit in previous video i explained you about barter system double consignments of bonds that how they are doing the work modern forms of money now today i will explain you about bank now what is bank a bank is a profit making institution that accepts the deposits pays an amount an interest on the deposits and extends loan to the needy so we get the money in the bank and if we want any kind of loan then also we take from the bank so this is the work that bank is doing now what are the advantages of the bank deposits with the bank are beneficial for individual because bank accepts the deposits and also pay an amount as interest on the deposits in this way people's money is safe with the banks and it earns an amount as interest so people have also the provision to withdraw money as and when they required demand deposits offer check facility to the bank account holder the facility of the check against demand deposits make it possible to directly settle payments without the use of cash so this is the use of the bank and why we are keeping our money in the bank because in bank our money is safe we are getting the interest that is of the earning also so that's why whatever the surplus money is there we always kept in bank bank money refers to bank deposits by people with bank which they can withdraw it any time they like the deposits in the bank accounts can be withdrawn on demand are called demand deposits these demand deposits can be transferred to another person through a bank check for an example when mohan makes a payment to sohan by a check sohan indeed accepts mohan's ownership on bank deposits it is important to remember that the check itself is not money but it performs the same function as money payment for purchase or as medium of exchange the bank checks are considered as bank money in this way bank the in this way the demand deposits possesses the essential feature of money checks can be issued against demand deposits this facility helps to directly settle payments without the use of cash the demand deposits are also treated as a form of money now how check payments are made and realized released suppose i will give you a one example suppose a ready made garment manufacturer mohanlal has purchased cloth of rupees 1 lakh from a cloth merchant called 
Sohanlal. Now, Mohanlal has to make a payment of rupees one lakh to Sohanlal and writes a check for that amount. This means that the garment manufacturer gives instruction to his bank to pay this amount to the cloth merchant. The cloth merchant takes this check and deposits it in his bank account. The money is transferred from one bank account to another bank account normally in a two days or three days. The transaction is complete without the payment of cash. Now suppose, now suppose after getting this check, Sohanlal deposits it in his amount with Punjab National Bank, Delhi. The Punjab National Bank collects the money from Mohanlal's bank account with the State Bank of India and deposits in Sohanlal's account. Mohanlal's balance in his bank account reduce and Sohanlal balance in his account increases by an amount of rupees 1 lakh. Now another example. Suresh Kumar wants to withdraw rupees 50,000 in cash for making some payments. He will write a check and will instruct the bank to pay to self or bearer and will present the check to his own bank. After accepting the check, the bank will make payment to Suresh Kumar with this Suresh Kumar's balance in his bank account will reduce by rupees 50,000. Now, how bank is giving loans? Now, what are the activities of bank for giving the loans? Bank perform two important function that is acceptance of deposits and advancing of loans or giving of loans. On the one hand, bank accepts deposits from the public and the other hand, they give loans to them. It is interesting to understand the procedure and mechanism of loans activities of banks. We know that people deposit their surplus cash money with the banks. This we call as bank deposits. Bank know from their experience that all the depositors do not demand all the money at the same time. If all the depositors of a bank come on a particular day and ask for their money at the same time, the bank will be in trouble and may not be able to make payment to its depositors. But this does not happen. Normally, some portion of total deposits is demanded by some depositors at any time. Banks keep only a small portion of their total deposits as cash, 
reserves with themselves. For an example, bank in India these days keep about 15% of their deposits as cash. The bank can manage with this cash reserves the demands of the depositors who come to withdraw cash on a particular day. Keeping a small portion of total deposits as cash reserve, the major portion can be given as loans by the bank. Loans are given to all types of persons such as businessmen, farmers, consumers and employers etc. For their economic activities. Banks in this way work as mediator between depositors who have surplus funds and the borrowers who are in need of funds. Banks pay interest to the depositors and charge interest from the borrowers. Normally, bank charge higher interest rate from the borrowers of loans than they pay to the depositors. This difference is the main source of income of the banks. Now you have to write question and answer in your fair copy. Define bank. What are the advantages of depositing money in the banks? What is demand deposit? List two advantages of demand deposits.